Oh, back to my favorite spot in the National Forest. And the grandkids wanted me to tell everybody a story. So I want to tell a story about when I had a bear come to my camp. I was out uh, bushwhacking, bushcrafting. I had a ruffed grouse cooking over a fire and a trout that I had caught. And the, the ruffed grouse was from the previous season. And this was springtime. And I caught a nice brook trout. And I was cooking them over, uh, over a fire in a pan. And um, it was a beautiful evening. The sun was shining. It was clear sky while the sun was setting. It was uh, setting off to the west of me. And I was right on this beautiful pond and where I caught this brook trout. So I thought it pretty fitting to cook and eat it right there. So I had my dog, Black Lab, a trapper, Tuttle Marsh Trapper, he was with me that day. And so while I'm cooking around the fire, off in the distance I heard something and uh, kind of a little unsettling. And I heard a and I realized that that sounded like a bear and I know that one of the girls that had worked for me uh, for me at the plant that I worked at that time she was out in uh, out driving through the National Forest on her way to work and she lived outside of, outside of our area quite a ways and had to drive through the National Forest and she said that she'd seen a sow and two cubs uh, on her drive in to work. Well, this was only four days later. It was uh, Friday night, and I didn't want to come across the the bear that Bonnie had seen. So I started paying attention, and I, my ears were pricked up, and I could really, really hear everything that was out there around me. And I continued to hear, and so I grabbed my food that was half cooked. Uh, the fish was done, but the, the grouse was not. And so I grabbed the grouse, threw it on a, another frying pan that I had, set it on the floorboards, and I grabbed Trapper and said, get in the truck. So Trapper and I sat in the truck, and I rolled the windows down. And I thought, well, I'm not going to leave. I'm just going to sit in the truck and maybe watch for this bear to come in. And if it attacks my truck, well, then I can always drive away, right? So I waited, and I can roll the window down enough to where I could hear it. And I looked out over top of the water, and I could, I could hear these uh, nighthawks. And nighthawks have this distinct sound, peep, peep. And I'm looking up and I see the night hawk flying, peet, peet. And then all of a sudden, Whoa. every time a night hawk would dive, and I found out later this was a, um, a springtime display, and they would dive and the wind would rush over their wings as they came out of the dive. I felt really silly after that. So my grandkids wanted me to tell everybody this story about how I was afraid of a little bird, thought it was a bear.